Hi everyone and welcome back if you're returning. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hello and welcome and I really hope you do come back. So for those of you that have never watched one of my messages before, I'm a seer so I tap into past, present and future energies. I'm a psychic medium and I'm a healer and I'm an open channel for spirit. So whatever comes through in these messages comes through. I never fully know till I'm in them. But chances are if you've been guided to my channel for any reason you could be a twin flame because I'm a twin flame myself and all my messages are twin flame related at the moment. I've become a twin flame guide for many, um, which is what I'm supposed to be doing right now. So I hope you find the answers you're looking for here, or maybe you will find some more questions, but either way, I'm here for you. And my email address is underneath this video if you have any questions or need to reach out for any, any reason at all, okay? So, and the reason why I'm saying that is because I've been answering emails all day. Um, so I'm a bit, woo, I've, I've had, I'm a bit emailed out, but I'm certainly always happy to hear from everyone. And I do always get back to every single person, even if it takes me a week or two weeks, I always get back. So thank you everyone for getting in touch. So I'm going to begin as I always do. Calling in my heavenly ancestors, my spirit guides, the archangels of love and light and the ascended masters of the highest pure divine light. I call you in now for your love, guidance and protection as I bring forward a message for the Twin Flame Collective. Thank you. Archangel Michael, can I ask you to please surround my children, my dog, my home and myself in a golden bubble of God's protective light at all times as I bring forward a message for the Twin Flame Collective. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Can I also ask you, Archangel Michael, that you surround whoever watches this message online, surround them, their loved ones, their home and their pets in a golden bubble of God's protection also. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Archangel Metatron, can you please stabilise the connection between myself and spirit, ensuring that only clear and concise messages can come through for the Twin Flame Collective's highest and greatest good at all times. Thank you, Archangel Metatron. Sending love, light and gratitude to you all. And so it is. I'm just going to clear the energy. Okay, <laughs> some very strange things coming through. Um, so I saw the, the symbol for Aries a few seconds ago. So Aries come through very strong. Could be Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine has that in their charts. Um, I also heard a Beatles song, I think it's Ticket to Ride. And I also heard the word Special de Delivery. And... No reply. So I don't know if this is someone who is worried if they send a special delivery to you, there'll be no reply from you. Or this is someone who sent you a message and got no reply, but I just heard the word special delivery. And I've heard, so this is somebody who could be a Beatles fan, even if the lyrics of the songs don't match up with what you're going through, you could definitely be liking the Beatles. But I think it's Ticket to Ride I heard. And also, when I heard Special Delivery, I heard no, no, I don't know what the song's called. They said no reply. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what song that is. Somebody will know. Um, there's orc, I still see orchids. Somebody could like orchids, wild orchids. Somebody could wear that perfume, wild orchid. Or somebody just likes orchids. But 
somebody could have a moustache or they've grown a moustache since you saw them last. Divine Feminine, you might say to grow a moustache. We're not judging, okay? We've all been there. <laughs> And then just when I press record on here, I saw fireworks going off. So something could be about to be celebrated or there's a celebration coming in for someone. Um, Archangel Michael. Somebody is talking to Archangel Michael a lot right now. You're asking Archangel Michael for answers, for guidance. He wants you to know he's there. <laughs> you you don't seem to be hearing the answers possibly. I don't know who that's for, but that's for someone. Okay, now I'm hearing Abba. If you change your mind, I'm the first in line. Honey, I'm still free, take a chance on me. If you need me, let me know and I'll be around. If you got no place to go, if you're feeling down, take a chance on me. So that's something you could have walked away from, Divine Feminine. Now, what I'm about to tell you guys could be resonant with someone watching this. So that or this could be two separate messages, but what I'm going to begin with. Um, so a few days ago I was led to so it was a, I was led to the book of Luke, chapter 19, verse 1 to 10. And I'd never read this, I mean I, I may have skimmed past it in in the past, but um skimmed past it in the past. But um I never really took much notice of, because of the character Zacchaeus before and probably now because I'm more in tune with things I when I read Luke um when I read Luke 19 1 to 10 again it really impacted me now this was a few days ago but I wondered why I was being guided to read this part of the bible and um so I read about so anyone who for I'm sure for many Christians or anyone who is um connected to their faith in a big way they'll probably already know about Zacchaeus but I did not understand the connection with Jericho and stuff until I read it again a few days ago and I'm leading I'm leading on to something that happened today and I'll explain what happened but um so Jesus was on his way from Jer Jer Jesus was on his way to Jeruz Jerusalem with his apostles and he stopped in Jericho. Now in Jericho there, there was a man who was pretty much an outcast. He was so focused on his wealth. He was actually a tax collector for the Romans. And he was, you know, condemned as a sinner, as a traitor. No one wanted to know him. He was living this amazingly wealthy life. And had everything he could possibly want apart from people who cared and loved about him. Because they treated him like an outcast and rejected him from society. So until the day Jesus was passing through Jericho and um, Zacchaeus was very short in stature and he was determined to get a chance to see Jesus up close. So he went ahead of the huge crowd, climbed a sycamore tree um, and so that he could see Jesus when he walked past on the road towards Jerusalem. So Jesus at this point never spoke to anyone else, but as he walked, he stopped right underneath the sycamore tree and looked up at Zacchaeus. And he said, Zacchaeus, you need to come down from that tree because we are spending the night in your home. And at that point, there was outrage amongst the crowds. Why is Jesus speaking to that traitor? He's a sinner. He, you know, why is he leaving himself unsullied by spending time with him, going to his home? When actually it was the other way around, Jesus was not being unsullied by being around Zacchaeus. He was actually um, using his light to try and change Zacchaeus from his position of being an outcast and focusing on his wealth. He was actually 
having the opposite effect because he was it wasn't Zacchaeus who was rubbing off his his um ways on Jesus Jesus was using his influence to help Zacchaeus break free from this cycle he was stuck in and it worked because out of all the people in Jericho Jesus could have sat at a table with and ate food with broke bread with it was Zacchaeus and by the time Jesus left Zacchaeus had said I'm going to give half my wealth to the poor of Jericho and anyone who I've cheated out of their taxes I'm going to give them back four times what I took from them so Jesus had done his job there and he moved on knowing that he had changed not only Zacchaeus's perspective on what you know to have all this wealth but nobody wanted to be around you and I think Zacchaeus was very lonely and isolated and Jesus changed that around for him. So here till today I was in my meditation and now I hadn't, I hadn't really associated um, the the term the Jericho tree with a sycamore tree in Jericho so today in meditation again I saw a tree and I heard Jericho tree and I looked up the Jericho tree and it took me back to what I'd read in um, Luke 19 1 to 10 the other day so I thought there's something very significant God's trying to prepare me for something or tell me somebody might need my help or there's divine feminines out there who may need to help their masculine or something and a little bit later on an email came in from someone who was clearly needing some guidance who was not I would say definitely not a divine feminine definitely not a divine masculine but at that point I understood that God was preparing me for something and to help people who are not necessarily on their divine path yet but are definitely needing help to get there so this message could definitely be for someone else who you may be about to, someone could be about to reach out to you for help that in the past they or or this is really about don't shy away from helping people who you feel are not in the same vibration as you or are the opposite of what you stand for because it's not a case of them bringing you down it's a case of you raising them up so somebody had to hear that and certainly it, um certainly it was something that happened for me today so so let's get some scripture cards out now I wrote some scripture down earlier so we'll see if it comes out again and if not I'll just read the ones I've got so which cards of scripture best describe this reading now I feel as I say this is a masculine energy that's coming through um who may be about to deliver a message to you and the words are not going to get a reply with no reply coming through that let it no reply um so or this person thinks you're leaving them behind you might be moving there's ways you're going to move so far away from them you can't get a hold of you but they actually want you to take a chance on them now so let's see which cards of scripture are best suited to this message tonight for this divine masculine energy that's coming through which cards of scripture scripture best describe <clears throat> okay I don't know if I'm meant to take all of those because there's quite a lot come out I'm going to take the first one that hit the table is there any other of these other ones I'm supposed to take out? Okay, no, no, just this one and I'll read that one in a minute. So let's see anything else and try and... Because there were too many there. There, was, there were six or seven and I wasn't sure if they were all... Okay, thank you. Okay, bless those who persecute... Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse. So they're definitely, so that is Romans 12, 14. And earlier on, I got Romans 12, 12 came out as well. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction and faithful in your prayer. So, and this other one came out as well. John 15, 17. This is my command, love each other. That was the first card that came out. So... Let's see. Any, do you want one more? 
I love to do things in threes, you probably guess. Okay. Okay, you gave me two. Okay. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go for you, for for to you I entrust my life. So, and that is Psalm 143, verse 8. So there's that card there. So, let the morning bring word of your unfailing love, for I put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Now, this is, I don't say it in those words, but I say this every day to God. I trust you. I trust you with my life. I trust you to guide me to what is right for me, what is best for me, and what is what, what is basically right for me in this lifetime. So this could just be, you know, um, this masculine could now be in that energy as well, where they're saying, just lead me, just lead me because I trust you and... I'm entrusting you with my life at this time. Bless those who pers bless those who persecute you. Bless them and do not curse them. So again, that's just what I what I always kind of try and say to people: don't um don't ever retaliate to anyone who who does something negative towards you because at the end of the day, why would you lower yourself to their level? When someone goes low, you go high because there's nothing that you can do or say to that person that will be as half as um effective as letting the universe and God handle the situation because God and the universe will handle it appropriately. Now nine out of ten times when somebody gets karma um or karmic justice plays out, they too go through an awakening. So it can really have a, a beautiful domino effect and the karmic can go through their awakening when they receive the karma back for what they've been doing. So this is my command, love each other. Just simple as that. Love each other. Love your neighbour. Love your enemies. Love each other. That's the main command that God gives to people. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil and cling to what is good. So I did ask what parts of scripture is best suited for this reading. So it, this just tells me, sorry, and that is Romans 12. I actually love the book of Romans. There's so much about love and um, positivity in the book of Romans. But so love must be sincere and hate what is e what is evil, cling to what is good. So I feel that this this masculine is now understanding what is sincere and what is right for him. He may have definitely clung to all the wrong energies in the past. Um, now I think I feel like he's clinging to good. Um, for where your treasure is, there your heart, there your heart will lie also. So this tells me this masculine. So that's Matthew, chapter six, verse twenty one. This masculine has been looking for treasure in all the wrong places. As I always say, your heart is your holy grail. When you fully connect to your higher heart, and you fully connect to unconditional love, that is your treasure. That is your holy grail. And I feel this masculine could be now realizing that he is realizing that his treasure has been here all along his feelings for you divine feminine so let me get some tarot and find out what's going on here i've also got um my angel guidance deck i've got my craft consciousness deck i've got my starseed deck so we've got some major starseed energy coming through and also i have some love and romance so let's see let's see can I get some energy coming through for this masculine, please? Now, I feel this masculine is preparing to reach out. Um, just now you heard special delivery. Now, he could be going to send you something, a gift or something, and hope that you would reply to him to thank him for the gift, and that could open up the channel of communication. So he could send you some flowers or some sort of gift, hamper or something. Um, and probably hoping, yeah, five of pentacles. This person feels out in the cold. And I felt that with no reply and take a chance on me. All these things, this person is now thinking, do I have a chance? Yeah, do I have a chance? So this person feels that you've moved on, especially that song, Ticket to Race. Think I'm gonna... Girl, that's driving me mad. I'm going away. I don't know, I don't know the exact lyrics, sorry. 
but this person definitely feels like you're leaving them behind, you're moving on, you're not going to take a chance on them. <laughs> Tell me more about this masculine, please. I just feel the feel we've missed an opportunity. Yeah, I've missed my chance. So this special delivery better be really something. <laughs> it better be like gold roses or something, gold plated roses. Yeah, three of swords. There was some sort of heartbreaking ending between you both here. Yeah, this person may have abandoned you and now they feel abandoned because you put your boundaries up, Divine Feminine. You focused on yourself. <laughs> Queen of Cups. You put your boundaries up, Queen of Cups. Uh, you probably could have been very intuitive here. You could have realised that this masculine was not um, in the right energy for you. This masculine definitely loves you, that much I can tell you. Without a shadow of a doubt, this masculine loves you. But were they willing to show you at the time? Definitely not. And Divine Pain, I think you put your yourself first. You poured that, that big old cup of love you have here, you poured that into yourself. You, you decided, no, I'm just going to focus on me. And it's not selfish to do that because you're actually helping your masculine when you do that. That is actually, when you... Focus on yourself, focus on your self-healing, self-care. Start to love yourself and give yourself all that love and care that you want to give your masculine. That actually draws your masculine back in because they start to ascend. They cannot help but heal and ascend at the same time as you. So it's so important and I always say the Divine Feminines are the captain of their own ship. You guide the ship. Eight of Swords. So this person definitely is... As I say, they feel they've missed an opportunity and they just don't know how. That's why I feel this special delivery is going to be. Um... <laughs> now, as I say, it's either a very special message, but I'm actually getting special delivery. I'm actually getting something you would have to sign for or open your door for. Yeah, I just heard you, you were my catalyst. So you, you were the catalyst for this masculine's awakening. He was in some sort of illusionary... Mm. He was under some sort of illusion about being wealthy or thinking he was wealthy in his situation. This could be why Zacchaeus comes in quite strongly to this message because Zacchaeus obviously had everything he thought he wanted, everything he thought he wanted in life. He had a lot of money, he had a nice home. But he didn't have anyone to talk to or share his wealth with. So this masculine's definitely in some sort of illusion over what he thought he wanted. I'm saying he, change it to she, whatever. Um, Eight of Wands. Now, I was seeing a piranha, that's why I was so quiet there. Because I was seeing a piranha in my mind's eye, but I was trying to figure out if... Because the piranha can refer to teamwork, but it can also refer to being a predator and just not having a care for what, what um, fulfills your hunger. You're just hungry for success and you don't care who you hurt in the process. So I was trying to figure out which one that was. So your person could either want to work with you or feel that you work well as a team. But this masculine could also have just been a bit selfish in their wants and needs and not caring who they hurt in the process. But this is communication. This is incoming communication of some kind or incoming special delivery. The, I really think this person's hoping that this special delivery will open up the door for communication. Knight of Wands. So this person is very passionate about you and they may have definitely been in the energy of non-committal, not wanting to give you anything. Um, yeah, not wanting to give you anything secure, not wanting to offer you stability or security in the relationship at all. But also I feel this with the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Wands, this person really wants to take action on you now. So if this person was non-committal in the past, the Hierophant's here. 
And I feel this person is wanting to show you now, I have learned my lesson. I've also learned a few spiritual lessons, um, but I also learned more about my spiritual side. So this person's coming in now in a very spiritual way. They, I think they understand this is a spiritual connection, but they do want to offer you something um, more than just a casual friend with benefits hookup. I feel that. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. This person now wants to offer you something that's balanced and equal. I mean, this person may have just been take, 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 take from you. And I'm, I'm not talking about financially. You know, you know what I'm saying. Many of you will understand what I'm saying immediately when I say that. It's almost like you were the one who had to plan things. You were the one. And when you were with your person, they may just craved all the attention and love from you. But then when you really needed them, they were nowhere to be found. That kind of energy. So this person may have like, sucked all the, the life and love out of you and just refused to give you any kind of validation back. And not, not that we need validation, don't get me wrong, but it's nice to get that when you give so much to someone and give so much time and love to someone, it's really nice to get a bit of that back in return. You know, like you mean just as much to me as you know, what I mean to you, you know, that kind of thing. But I don't feel this person is capable of that in the past. Okay. Tell me a bit more, please, about this. Tell me what this masculine is hoping for here with this special delivery. <laughs> Tell me what this masculine is hoping to achieve here with this special delivery. Okay, a little come out here. Okay. All right. So this person is definitely in deep regret here for not telling the truth to you, Divine Feminine. Um, this person knows they should have spoke their truth to you. And I've got a funny feeling I know what the truth is going to be. <laughs> because they feel guilty. They feel beside themselves with worry and anxiety that they've missed an opportunity with you. Fortunes feel... This person may have received a bit of karma, but I, I do think we understand now that this connection is destined. And no matter how far they ran or how much they denied this connection, it was just always going to stay there. <laughs> Queen of Wands. So you could be um, a fire sign, but you don't have to be. You're just sitting in a very magical energy, very passionate um, this person definitely sees you as someone who's very passionate about life, fun-loving, playful. And I feel this person wanted to be that person with you, but for some reason they shut that side of them off, side of themselves off. Yeah. <laughs> the devil and the two of pentacles. Something ego or something stopped this masculine um, giving to you. Um, I just feel this person was not in the right headspace to offer you the same love and care and compassion. And the, the kind of love you were bringing to this masculine was very powerful. I can see that. But this masculine definitely was held back by ego and something that made this masculine completely unbalanced. Clarify the devil energy, please. 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 Judgment. <clears throat> So this can either be because he was refusing to make a solid decision about how he felt about you. He was refusing to open up about his emotions. But this could be that he was actually under some sort of judgment. Or he was unawakened. And that's why he was still in his lower vibrational energy, his shadow side. So Knight of Pentacles and the Empress. So this person is on their way with an offer to you. There's a special delivery coming in. It's taken a while. Could be coming by snail mail. 
but it's coming in for an Empress. It's coming in for this um, Queen of Wands. Tell me what this Macklin's hoping for with this offer. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. They want to. They want to build a life with you. They want to build a future with you. They're. They're invested in a future with you, but I think they're. They're worried that um they've missed their opportunity. Oops. Ten of Cups. <laughs> yeah. So the Ten of Cups and the Five of Wands and the Chariot. So two different stories could come out here. This masculine is dealing with a lot of conflict um, and some sort of family dynamic that we're already attached to, um, but now they're moving on from. Or this is just saying this masculine is ready to leave the conflict between the two of you behind and move things forward because you're both each other's happy, happily ever after. You're both each other's end to the fairy tale. You know, when it says, and they both lived happily ever after, the end. This person wants a Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups with you. They want the happily ever after. Yes. Two of Cups. They want the happily ever after with you. But they think they've missed their opportunity. How's the Divine Feminine going to feel here? <laughs> Two of Cups. Ace of Cups, Divine Feminine, when this masculine returns with the Ace of Cups for you here, you're going to give them, this Queen of Cups is ready to give her Ace of Cups over and it's going to lead to this Three of Cups energy. So Divine Feminine, you have not given up on this masculine whatsoever. Three of Pentacles, you are still waiting for this masculine. Now, I don't want to say waiting because I know Divine Feminine should be waiting. I've learned that lesson myself. But you are prepared and open-hearted for this person coming back that you will work on this connection you have got a cup of love to give them and this person has got a mutual cup of love to give to you but for some reason they just think she's she's you know she's off living her best life nine of pentacles she will not want to take this leap of faith with me and why would she? Because I done her wrong. I refused to commit to her. I refused to give her what she wanted. Why does she, Why would she want me back? <laughs> there was an ending. And arguments. Things could have ended in a really bad note. Because your person was too distracted. They were too distracted and in their ego, you know, or whatever was blocking this, whatever this devil energy is. Um, now, there's no third party out here. This master's getting up the strength here to come forward with an offer. A romantic offer. A solid offer with the Knight of Pentacles, but a beautiful, loving offer with the Knight of Cups as well. They're just trying to get their courage and strength up here because, as I say, they know they've missed an opportunity. But I feel they're getting ready to shoot their shot. Yeah. King of Swords. And six of wands they know if they come in and communicate with you there is a chance here for victory but i feel this masculine is talking themselves out of it because they keep thinking i done them wrong i turned my back on them i abandoned them they told me they love me and i turned my back on them they told me that you know that they were my soulmate and i said i don't think so <laughs> i don't believe it Yeah, this masculine, this masculine has been stuck in the two of swords, not knowing what what's true and what's not. Maybe they were right. Maybe we are. Maybe we are soulmates. I feel this masculine is getting lots of signs from the universe. The world cards here. I feel the universe is screaming at this masculine. <laughs> like I feel like the masculine, um, the universe is out there banging gongs. <laughs> putting neon signs on going past in the sky, you know, these things you see on airplanes. <laughs> They're just trying to get this emperor to 
to move forward. They're trying to get him to get on that boat, move forward because, oh, because when he does, <laughs> nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. And I think this mask is just too stuck in his head. He's worried because he feels like he's missed an opportunity. Yeah, two of wands, ten of cups, empress. Queen of Wands, this masculine, there's a Queen of Wands here, this masculine thinks, I don't know whether to, to reach out to, to my Empress, this Queen of Wands, will it lead to this, will it lead to a happily ever after or will she reject me, because I rejected her, yeah, when she told me she loved me, I rejected her. She told me that she wanted to spend my life with me. I said, no, <laughs> I want to stay single. And it broke your heart, Divine Feminine. And I now feel this masculine is now heartbroken because they're seeing you in this Nine of Pentacles energy. You sitting ready to be snapped up by the most eligible bachelor in all the land. And now they're like, I shot myself in the foot. Which I would expect would be really, really painful. Even when I stub my toe, I'm crying for an hour. <laughs> but yeah, this person, if this masculine gets the courage up to take this leap of faith towards love, do you have cups? But they have to communicate the truth. And the truth is this person loves you and they regret their decision. They regret rejecting love. They regret rejecting their interests. But when they actually get the courage, the Empress is lying on the table as I've tried to scoop up the cards. It jumped back out, the Empress and the Ten of Cups. This person knows that you are their happily ever after, but they're worried that you're not going to give them the time of day. Because they rejected you. Let me get some, let me get some romance and love cards and dig in a wee bit to this connection. Oh, itchy nose. And I'll get some Christ consciousness cards. Abundance. Wow. So when this connection, when you guys get, yeah, ten of pentacles, ten of cups energy here, guys. Now I think this divine feminine is just, this, what this masculine doesn't know, and if you're watching divine masculine, this is what you need to know. You're Divine Feminine is willing to listen. She is ready to hear you out. She is going to be celebrating and feeling happiness and joy when you come back. But this is what is available for you both. If you can take the reins of this connection masculine and take step up here and make that move. Speak your truth. Tell me what else is here for this connection. Long distance. Now that could be what the Ticket to Ride song is. She's got a Ticket to Ride. So this masculine could be about to send you a special delivery from long distance. Or this is, um, they could be about to send you a special delivery off a ticket or something. Or maybe they are the special delivery, but this is long distance love. Um, so love knows no distance. It transcends all time and space. And that's so true. And I'm just seeing the train there. So... And you could also be seeing a lot of these strawberry blossom trees. Alone time, spending time alone, it will help you gain clarity on your relationship. So this person has been spending a lot of time alone. They've been um, definitely taking time out. I feel you have been as well, feminine. And this is so important. All twin flame journeys need this time. They do. And um, I'm, everyone I'm always emailing back, I seem to say the same thing over and over again, like, the separation is so important because otherwise your twin flame journey isn't even going to go off the ground. You are just literally your twin's lover. You, If you don't have that separation and go into your separate butterfly cocoon phase where you both have to ascend separately, you have to heal, you have to heal your childhood trauma, you have to release all your past life, life karma, you have to cut cords with the past or holding you back in the present. I mean, there's so much going on, like past lives you carry, um, karmic contracts, which you haven't closed out. For many masculines, they kept on choosing 
the karmic feminine in past lives, which meant they were stuck in constant cycles of karma over and over and over again. And that karmic energy follows the twin flames in every single lifetime. And the masculine will keep making the same mistake until they close out that karmic contract and then choose their divine feminine, who is then their, that is their abundance, that is their divine inheritance. But every time the masculine chooses the karmic in every lifetime, they're stuck in a constant cycle of karma and luck will never, luck will never sh shine on them. And not, not that luck is really a thing because everyone makes their own destiny and whatever, but, um, the ma so if the masculine has not closed out these karmic cycles and you've got to remember nearly every every time I do a past life reading for someone um because I, I usually do a wee past life section and personal readings as well it's amazing because nearly every single time unrequited love comes out on the twin flame card the male to female card is my twin flame card in the past life decks um and unrequited love comes out and it's purely because we didn't have YouTube and amazing people who were there to tell us about how to step into our, you know, how to ascend, how to work through our divine masculine, feminine energies, etc, etc. So nearly in all twin flame readings I do, unrequited love has happened over and over again in past lives because the masculine was always trapped by the karmic relationship. So in this lifetime, the masculines have to close out those karmic contracts or it'll be the same thing. They have got to close out the karmic contracts with those karmic relationships and choose their divine feminines or the cycle will keep going and going and going. And that is what has been trapping a lot of the, the twin flames for, for many, many lifetimes. But all the lessons had to be learned. All the lessons had to be learned. So hopefully, Divine Masculines, if you're watching this, you're learning your lesson. Apology. Yes, you are. So thank you. You are learning your lessons and you're going to come in now. So it says, it says, um, never underestimate the power of a heartfelt apology. So Divine Masculines, take note. Or Divine Feminines, if you've been a bit of an a-hole to your masculine, take note. So definitely an apology goes a long way. From both sides doorway so this is all about opportunities so there's going to be some sort of opportunity for you both to reconnect and um, this could be opportunities coming in for your divine purpose which i'll have a look at in a moment destiny yeah it says the reunion with your twin flame is a destined event wow I'm telling you, the doorway, yeah, the doorway is opening to give you an opportunity with your twin here to for a reunion. Anything else, please, before I, I'm going to get some anticipation. And again, I'm, somebody could definitely be seeing a lot of these strawberry blossom trees where they live. So embrace the sweet anticipation of love's arrival in your life as it is coming. <sighs> Oh my, oh my goodness, I have literally chills. That is so amazing. Hello, little orb floating path. So, let me see. <laughs> Star, your hopes and optimism are a powerful love magnet for you right now. So, oh my goodness, and romance in the bottom. Romantic surprises are on the horizon. Be open to them. I'm literally, I'm literally going to have spontaneous combustion or something. I cannot believe it. Look at that. Wow. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, there's some sort of special delivery coming in here. This person is going to blow your mind. There's definitely an apology coming, but there's some sort of long distance love coming back together here now long distance can be a couple of hours apart it can be another country apart but there's definitely something coming back in here adventure seek adventure together it adds it adds excitement to your journey i definitely feel a lot of excitement and playfulness and as i say i think the masculine wanted to be in that same energy as you but something held him back whatever his um whatever the devil energy was around this person held him back in the past so let me get some guidance from the christ consciousness deck um and it will give me 
got a better understanding what the masculine's facing right now. What he's going through on his ascension. And obviously what beautiful guidance comes through from this deck. So, and then I'll find out what this couple could be doing. Uh, so definitely a lot of nurturing and love coming in for this masculine. Mother Mary could be working with this masculine right now. Um, I mean, I love the Mother Mary card comes out first nearly in all my readings lately and it's it's so lovely. It's always such a great card to get because it means that this masculine definitely is getting some nurturing and love. So grace, blessings and goodwill. So again, more to do with blessings and abundance coming in for this masculine. So when he steps into his grace here, when he steps into his divine purpose, yeah, love thy neighbour. <laughs> Being of service, and I, I, I'm sure I said earlier, love everyone. My command for you is to love everyone, love each other, love thy neighbour, love thy enemy. Um, so this masculine is definitely about to receive some sort of blessings here when he steps into his service. He's definitely been called to service. He's definitely been answered with the judgment card, that's Archangel Gabriel. So he definitely went through some sort of awakening abundance enjoy this fully i'm telling you the the and i was also just when i'm seeing that there i was also um i was reading today about the when jesus managed to feed the five thousand with four loaves of bread and five fish and have four baskets of food left over and it was all because the more gratitude they were showing for having the four loaves of bread or the three loaves of bread and the four fish or the four loaves of bread, whatever, the more gratitude they were showing, the more God was multiplying it. So something could be going on here with this masculine where the more gratitude he shows, the more his um, abundance has been multiplied here. Anything else, please, for this masculine? Okay. Higher heart opening, full chakra opening here. So it says the heart, what would love do in this situation? And I honestly say to bring that into every equation, not just your twin flame connection. If any any event in your life, any situation, when you bring love to it, it completely changes the dynamic of the situation. Um, so I always say bring love into everything you do because it will completely change things. So the teacher walk the talk. So this masculine is definitely going to be of service, some sort of teacher to others. Um, he's now he's now stepping into his Christ consciousness. He's going to be walking the walk. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely going to be some sort of teacher. And I definitely got that with the hierophone energy. So this masculine has definitely kept himself stuck in a very toxic energy with the devil card coming out. And the two of, the, I think it was the devil energy with the two of wands or whatever come out. Um, but this masculine has definitely kept himself stuck. So it says tethered and caged, you can break free. And the reason why this card is so important is because, look, there's a key right there. And the masculine was keeping himself shut away in the darkness, ignoring the light coming in. And the key was right there to set himself free. Eight of Swords energy. And I, I did say this masculine was stuck in an Eight of Swords energy. Thinking they'd missed an opportunity. Thinking that they'd ruined their chances with you. Ready to give up because they felt, what's the point? They're not going to want me back because I rejected them. I treated them harshly. I treated them unfairly. <clears throat> but this masculine is stepping into this peaceful harmony and um, the peaceful energy harmony um i do feel he is going through some sort of healing right now i mean i do think this masculine has spent a lot of time alone in solitude trying to heal and try to get his courage up to come forward here be a light to others. So this masculine's they're saying this masculine stand up. 
stand up, get up off your knees, stop feeling, stop, I mean, it's almost like this energy, the masculine sitting there and someone's like, give me your hand, we're going to pull you up and you're going to, you're going to do this, you're going to do this, you can do this, your divine feminine wants you back and I feel the universe is really sending huge signs to this masculine, like don't give up because your divine feminine actually loves you and wants you to return. Yeah, good to me. Um, you know, it says strength comes when you need it most. So this masculine is really pushing forward here on his ascension, but he's really digging in deep for strength and courage to come through from the divine. That's why Archangel Michael could be working with this person because Archangel Michael gives you confidence and strength to do things you're scared to do. So that's exactly why Archangel Michael could have come through quite loudly um, when I was just tapping into this masculine's energy because Archangel Michael could be giving this masculine um, the strength. Like, you can do it. Whatever happens, you can do it. Yeah, gratitude. And that's what I was feeling when I looked at the Abundance card. I feel this masculine stepping into a very beautiful energy of gratitude right now. He's just saying, I'm grateful for being given the opportunity with this beautiful, amazing woman. I'm grateful that you're giving me another opportunity with this beautiful, amazing woman or man, whatever. But I'm just going to say it like I'm feeling it right now. Um, thank you, God, for giving me this opportunity with this goddess. Thank you for giving me the opportunity with this beautiful, kind-hearted female who loves me. This masculine, the more gratitude this masculine is showing to God for his twin flame journey with you, I feel that he is multiplying the love between you and he's multiplying his abundance. But he definitely had the blindfold dripped off from here, um, without a doubt. Because <laughs> um, it says... It says discernment, truth and clarity. So this masculine was showing the truth. You know, I always get that kind of um, Ebenezer Scrooge energy when the divine shows people in dreams and stuff like that how their life can be if they keep going down the same path. And this masculine definitely had a wake-up call from Archangel Gabriel. <laughs> yeah. Rejection and protect. Rejection and protection. Reject. Rejection and projection, sorry. Um, so this masculine was rejecting you because he was projecting his own insecurities and his own fears. Um, but this masculine now understands unity of consciousness and that there is some sort of sacred union, he sacred destiny or mission he has with you, Divine Feminine. But he's now understanding the concept of Christ consciousness, of unity consciousness, of the fact we are all interconnected even with nature, with animals, everything, with trees. We are all interconnected. We are all oneness. And the masculine's coming to understand that. Prayer, so it says contemplation and connection. So this is what's connecting the masculine. Being in this energy of connectedness, being in this energy of unity, consciousness now, and deep in prayer and meditation and gratitude. He knows he has to step up. He knows he has to find that strength to come forward because I feel like he's been urged to and he could actually be working with Lord Jesus right now. I mean, this could have been the energy the masculine was in. You know, I, I don't want to know. I don't I don't want to know about love. I don't want to know about divine connections. I, I'm quite happy sitting here in my toxic <laughs> behaviour patterns, ignoring my life focusing on my wealth, whatever this was for this masculine. Um, but really, I feel all this masculine truly wanted was love. He wanted some love. And again, that takes me back to Zacchaeus. He had everything he wanted apart from the things he really, really needed. Companionship and love. And, you know, a sense of community and people around him to show him love and care and Jesus was the first person that stepped up and said I'll come to your house I will break bread with you I will eat with you 
And that alone was enough to change Zacchaeus' whole perspective around on what he actually wanted from his life. I'm going to get some zodiac signs and then I'm going to get the Starseed Oracle to see what purpose this divine masculine and feminine could have. So, Cancer, first, first one out tonight. Um, the number one, so first house. And Saturn, I haven't had Cancer in it for a few nights. Leo, first house again. And Saturn again. Wow, okay. So Cancer again. And Saturn, and the number eight, eight house. So Saturn comes through so strongly. Um, cancer again. So Cancer and Leo are the two most prominent signs here. Sixth house and South Node. I don't believe it. Cancer again. <laughs> the number six. And Neptune. Now it's so strange because Aries is the symbol of Aries came through in my head really strongly. Um, so Libra, seventh house, and Neptune again. Oh, well, there we go. Thank goodness for that. Aries. <laughs> Just to prove it did come through Aries. And Aries and Neptune again. And 10th house. So Neptune and Saturn, the two strongest planets coming through. Um, and what's this one? Virgo. Virgo's been showing up a lot. And North Node. And the number 11. 11th house. Taurus. And Saturn again, and the number nine. Anything else? And if it just repeats them again. So, yeah, Virgo again, and the number two. Aries again, and the number nine again. And South Node, and Leo, and South Node, and the number eight. So, we're literally just getting similar. Um, and it's funny that Leo t tends to land on the 8th month as well, so that's interesting. But um, I'll just do it one more time. Yeah, it's just Cancer again. And Taurus. So Cancer, Taurus, Leo. Cancer coming through so strongly. Cancer, Taurus, Leo, Virgo, Libra. I think that was it, wasn't it? One more roll to see. Um, Aquarius came through. I think it was just Virgo, Taurus, and Cancer again. Yeah, Cancer is coming through so strongly. So the number nine, the number eight, and Aries. Yeah, so Aries, Aries, Leo, Cancer, um, Virgo, Taurus, and Libra. Um, are the main signs coming through? And what's that again? And Aquarius again. So Aquarius, Libra. Aquarius, yeah, Libra, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Leo, Aries, and yeah, Cancer, I think Cancer. <laughs> Cancer is definitely coming through the strongest and the loudest there, that's for sure. And a lot of Saturn and Neptune energy. Yeah. So I'm just going over it again in my head. So Cancer, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Virgo, and Taurus. Yeah. That is it. So I'm going to get some starseed energy and see what what this couple could be about to focus on. What this masculine's now coming to realise about his journey, and then I will get an angel card to close out. I might get some. I might get some dice on this masculine as well, just to see, just to check out a bit more of, um, just like you know. Gives us a bit more in depth about him as a person. Okay, one more shuffle and then I'll get some cards out. Sorry about last night's reading, it was just, it was very slow to upload last night and I thought I need to go to my bed otherwise I'll be up all night. And um, and then I literally um, got up this morning and I thought, oh, I forgot to upload my video. So it's a bit late getting posted, but hopefully um, you won't hold it again too much. So let's see. Can I get some um, Starseed Oracle, please, on this masculine and feminine? Okay. So 
definitely um, a lot of energy of the ancestors helping this masculine and it's a lot to do with because they are sorry for um, some sort of ancestral pattern or something that they never managed to break free of. So inner earth and your life is a canvas. So this, let's just see, I'll let them all come out and I'll read through them all. Oh, thank you. Ooh, Mintaka energy coming through. So a lot of Orion energy, Orion. It's all to do with clearing away karmic um, patterns as well, closing out karmic relationships, baby steps. So lifting the veil. Anything else you want us to know about this masculine right now, about his ascension journey? masculine remembers he's getting downloads about past lives he as i say I, I know he he understands his divine mission now perspective yeah he's he had to zoom out and take a look at things from a different perspective and again that's what i felt with the zacchaeus energy coming through lost lands so i get kind of um atlantis energy and energy coming through for this masculine as well. Cracked open, it's happening for you, not to you. There's a lot coming through for this masculine. Um, you're not alone and activated earth. Bottom of the deck, all paths lead home. So, and that reminds me of the song. I kept on hearing the song today. Um, now it's by, it's, it actually makes me cry whenever I hear a song because it's at the end of, um, I think it was Fast and Furious 5 and it was a song written about Paul Walker um, who really, oh what, what a beautiful man um, and it was that one It's been a long road without you my friend but I hope you recognise me when I see you again but in that song it says something about um, all, it's like all um, no, but how does it go again? Because every road you take will always lead you home. So it's weird that I was hearing that song today and this says all past lead home and that's the energy I was feeling. So this muscle has been told no matter what happens now, you're, you're being guided home, you're being guided back. The void, so it says, stop, embrace winter, great cosmic womb. So this is, when I get this card, this just, for me, this is the energy you go into when you're meditating as well. You literally go in to that energy of, you stop, you clear your mind and you go into a void and just let stuff come through. And that's the energy in the masculine could be spending a lot of time right now just um, in meditation and prayer. The cosmic heart. So it says, devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. <laughs> yeah. This masculine, he could have felt for a long time his life felt like it was in some sort of void. But for me, this energy is more about going into a place where you clear your mind of everything, of anything from the past, anything that you're thinking about for the future, and just let yourself just be present. And I do feel this masculine is doing that, and he's focusing on some... Sort of prayer um prayer practice for himself meditation so i'm sorry so it says defensiveness writing past wrongs and uprooting so again this card is all about ancestral patterns um ancestral things that need to be cleared out or put to an end or karmic cycles being closed out but this is just like the masculine definitely could have been in this energy of defensiveness and stuff like that as well. But I really do feel the masculine wants to right their wrongs with you, Divine Feminine. They really do want to right their wrongs with you. Baby steps, action, follow your intuition before it makes sense. So this masculine is now learning to listen to their intuition. They're opening up to their special gifts more and more and more. But I do think this masculine has been told, don't rush. You know, he's in the very much the Knight of Pentacles energy. 
bring in this offer, but wait until you feel strong enough and able to bring this in. So baby steps towards, you know, you're moving. Doesn't matter how slow you're moving, you're making progress. So the seas of Mintaka, seeing the potential, bringing unconscious to light. Now, anyone from Mintaka will know it is a very divine feminine. Any souls from Mintaka will know it's a very divine feminine energy. So this masculine could now be opening up more to their divine feminine side, but also um, people from Mintaka, they are very, they see only good in situations. And for that reason, they tend to get hurt very, very easily. So this, this masculine could definitely be working with this of Mintaka energy if he's not if he's not got connection there, if his soul's not connection there. Um, and I can't say he because obviously his soul could be a could could have been a feminine energy from Mintaka because obviously in past lives we switch around. Like I've been a man in many lifetimes and my person has been a woman in many lifetimes. So it doesn't really matter he or she, but you, this person's this um, masculine soul here could definitely have connections to Mintaka. Or they could be working with that kind of Mintaka feminine energy just to try and see the potential and the good in their situation. Trying to look for the good in their their times of hardship here. Because that's what souls from Mintaka do. They try and always look at the positive spin. No matter how crappy their life gets, they will find a silver lining to every situation. So this masculine could be learning about that right now or he could be working with the kind of Mintaka energies, divine feminine energies. So activated earth, power, power place, ley lines, trust where you're laid. So now we've got the adventure card. I feel this um, twin flame couple are going to be moving around a lot. Now this masculine could be getting urged to move somewhere closer to his feminine. His feminine could be moving somewhere else and that's why this masculine is panicking because they feel they've missed an opportunity. But there's something here about moving around um to different ley lines and I, I myself have been given lots of locations where I'm, I've written them all down and I think this is where a lot of divine feminine masculine energies you will be guided to travel to different places because your vibration is very important to certain ley lines that's why the whale orca the whale and orca elders travel around and they're huge um pods and things because they go to certain places and their vibration their whale song was through these ley lines and it raises the vibration of that area so those ley lines are very very important um and so because the lemurians they they place certain crystals at certain ley line points as well so if you've got connections to lemuria you, that's another reason why you're being, being called to move around a lot um you're not alone um, so isolation, physical connection, community. So this masculine has definitely, we got time alone in the other day. This masculine's definitely been spending time alone. But no time alone is really time alone. Um, because you are surrounded by a divine presence at all times. Whether you know it or not, you are surrounded by divine love. You are surrounded by your guardian angels. Your spirit guides, your passed on loved ones are always with, with you. Um, and this masculine is now understanding that you don't need a physical connection because we've always got a community around us all the time. Um, so lost lands, soul memories and gifts, you've done this before. Now, that this makes sense when we've also got the I Remember card out here. So I remember, so it says soul plan, the fated life versus the destined life. So the masculine is now getting all the fragments of his soul are coming back and he's collecting all his memories. He's getting downloads. The divine masculine's ascensions are very fast. Divine feminines can take years and years and years, depending how quickly you heal and face your shadow side and heal your inner child. But for masculines, they are pushed to do it in a very accelerated way. So they're getting a lot of downloads. But this masculine is now remembering the soul plan. And they're now understanding that, yes, they can take different paths and change their destiny slightly. But they cannot change their fate. 
and they're having to see this now from a whole new perspective. They're zooming out and they're having a look at the bigger picture here because it says none of this actually matters. Zoom out and find common ground. Exactly. So this masculine is now understanding the past. Whatever they've done to hurt you, Divine Feminine, or cause you heartbreak and whatever's stopping them now coming forward and, and opening up their heart to you. I think they're understanding now none of the past matters. All that matters now is our admission with each other. So cracked open, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. Now, I say this to everyone. We all have to hit rock bottom. On, on your divine journey, you need to hit rock bottom. There's always that rock bottom happens and the resistance is there. And you have to just go through it and it brings you deeper into your faith. And it brings you, you have to hit the bottom to rise to the top again. That's as simple as that. You have to literally hit the bottom. It's almost like a rebound. You hit rock bottom and then God lifts you again. But you have to hit rock bottom and then turn to God or your whatever you connect the universe or whatever you want to connect with. But that is when you hit rock bottom. That's what raises you up again. And the masculine's definitely done that. He's hit rock bottom and allowed himself to be raised up from the bottom. Weight of the world, boundaries, let go because it's not yours to carry. So this masculine definitely... As I say, the Mintaka energy, um, and I just saw 111, um, oh, 11, 11, <laughs> um, the, the masculine is definitely a good person, I feel, who who definitely was in a toxic energy, very much in their ego, but I do think it's because they always, they maybe felt, they maybe allowed themselves to get into bad situations because they had that, they, they were very, they saw the good and everything and they always felt like they had to do the right thing by others. Um, your life is a canvas. Artist, manifestations, creative, creative accountability. So this masculine definitely could be an artist or you're an artist, divine feminine, but there's definitely a very creative streak here, whether it's with you or your masculine. Um, so a new earth is happening. Keep holding that vision. So this masculine is definitely part, well, this masculine and feminine, obviously, are some sort of shared mission here for the new earth. Now, the new earth, you don't have to be doing anything like majorly impactful. You don't have to be like a, a leader or a scientist or anything like that. You can just be someone who creates beautiful things. It, creating beautiful things and alchemizing negative energy through art and creation actually rises, um, actually raises your vibration which then causes the vibration around you to raise but also when people look at your beautiful creations it raises their vibration and makes them feel good so it really is a beautiful um, knock-on effect. Inner earth you'll survive this, new solutions and beginnings are coming in so the, this masculine knows there's a new beginning, they know that if they just get over this, whatever's holding them back right now from coming back to you, they understand there is a new beginning awaiting for them here. They just have to look a little deeper and find the strength here to come back towards you. Lifting the veil, questioning everything and anything that is unaligned must go. So the masculine now understands before he can return to you, before this divine masculine can return to you, they have to get everything out of the way that no longer aligns with them and no longer aligns with you both as a as a connection, no longer aligns with you both in the vibration you're going to both be sitting in. So that's just what that means. We all have to go through that where we have to remove anything that no longer aligns with us on our ascension journey. It doesn't mean say you you basically cut everyone out of your life because they're not in the same vibration as you, but it just means that you're um basically not going to focus too much on the the negative kind of low vibrational things that you used to do in the past where it's going out drinking with a big group of people or things like that. Um, you know, like having, you know, and drinking every weekend, you're going to sort of, you're not going to align with that kind of mentality anymore when you go through your awakening. You become very happy by yourself. You become, very, I'm not saying close yourself off from people. I'm just saying you tend to find joy in your peaceful moments as opposed to all the things you maybe felt were quite toxic in the past. You're ready. Be the real you. So this masculine is getting told, be authentic. 
see the real you. Don't hide the real you. Right, hold on. Anything else for this masculine? Oh. Uh, oh my goodness. Communication. Right, okay. This masculine is definitely going to be reaching out very soon. Okay. Anything else for this masculine before I close out this reading? Anything else? Yeah, he's definitely could be focusing on his health right now as well. Don't compromise. So the masculine's definitely stepping into his self worth now as well. He's understanding his self worth. Blessing in disguise. So I let us split the deck. Archangel Sandalphon, forgiveness, seeking freedom and healing. So this masculine is definitely healing, but also I feel he's going to be seeking a lot of forgiveness from you. Um, so let me get these cards up here. Get them out in order. So it says, it says shower of prosperity. <laughs> Look at that card. Now, how many times is that the masculine has got cards of abundance in this reading? So, wealth, opportunity, success and manifestations. I mean, come on. Wow. You're ready. Momentum, validation, encouragement and be prepared. So, the masculine's been told, you're ready for this. The masculine could even like to cycle. I'll try and get some dice out to see you. Maybe, so he could like to go on bike rides. So, be the real you. Freedom, authenticity, uniqueness and courage. So, I'm saying to this masculine, step out the shadows, be the real you, be the authentic you and your feminine loves you regardless. So, soul group, messages, reunion, connection and validation. So, this masculine and feminine are definitely coming into some sort of reunion here. Um, twin flame union energy. But this is soul group energy too. So, you could definitely be both be part of the same soul group could both be from Mintaka or something. Communication, accuracy, expression, intimacy and honesty. So there's communication coming in from this masculine. Don't compromise. Boundaries, assertiveness, courage and um, feelings of unworthiness. So this masculine is definitely needing courage here. He's definitely working with Archangel Michael to push him to step out of his comfort zone and take that leap of faith back towards love. So Focus on your health at this time, wellness, active, radiant and nourishment. So the masculine definitely could be out jogging, trying to get himself physically fit as well as mentally in the right headspace to return to Divine Feminine. Um, he's definitely working with Archangel Raphael in a big way here to get balance back in his life. So connected, journey, balance and clearing. So this is clearing out all the karma and getting balance back in his life there. And um, Archangel Raphael, beautiful green colour, love, travel, honour and vitality. So a lot of bit healthier coming in, but a lot of bit travel as well and abundance. So you're definitely going to be travelling around a lot together. Blessing in disguise, trust, revelation, significance and surprise. And there's that word surprise again. So trust, there is a surprise coming in here, Divine Feminine. The masculine needs to trust in the process and he needs to know that you actually do love him and you'll forgive him. He hasn't missed the opportunity and I feel this is what the Divine are working with this masculine right now to say. You have not missed this opportunity. You have every opportunity to, to go back here, communicate. Perfect timing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Auspicious clockwork planning and patience exactly this masculine has been told this is the perfect timing don't don't hold off any longer reach out it's the perfect time for you and with the sun and moon that is masculine that is feminine masculine energy right there as well yin yang energy so they're saying now is the perfect time now is the perfect time we are with you. We are supporting you. You can do it. Take that leap of faith and hopefully the masculine, which I feel he is. He's about to. Let's get a quick dive here. We've already went on too long, but let's get a quick dive here. So, 
So the wine, just as I was, what I was saying about going out drinking with people. So this masculine may have an, overindulged at some point, but I feel that's come to an end. Ah, there we go. See, cycling. So the masculine definitely could enjoy cycling because just when I saw that your ready card, I don't normally think the masculine could be a cyclist, but um, I did this time. So the masculine could love his coffee as well. He could really, he could have ditched the wine and the beer and he could now be drinking coffee. I love when this card comes out because it's the sun coming out from behind the dark clouds. So things are, this masculine's had some sort of breakthrough. Um, now there's the trees as well. I did feel the masculine had a very strong connection to trees and to spirit. Um, definitely, yeah, some sort of... Um, he could really enjoy being out, maybe cycling through like the hills and stuff like that. And there's the compass. So this is about travel. This is about um, someone who likes to travel, be adventurous, who likes to see the world. Um, and there's the shooting stars. So that is to do with wish fulfillment and it's also star seed energy. And the flask is here. So this person could um, maybe use some sort of flask and work. And when I saw the picnic, or when I saw the abundance card with the picnic blanket and stuff on it, this masculine might want to take you on a picnic. They might, they might be somebody who always has a flask of tea or something. <laughs> um, <coughs> they might, you know, have something like that, um, where they like to have a flask of tea everywhere they go or coffee everywhere they go. So this person could take you a drive somewhere for a picnic or something like that. So let's close out with a quick prayer. I've not done this for a few nights. <coughs> Excuse me. So, everlasting Father, thank you for this time together and thank you for all you do for us. As we all move on with our day or night, whatever we are in the world, may you, go, may you go ahead of us, dwell within us, shine through us, blessing all who cross our path. God of hope, would you fill us to overflowing today with all joy and peace by the power of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy this and I look forward to um, connecting with you all tomorrow. And thank you all once again for the love you bring to this channel with your likes, your comments, your shares, everything you bring to this channel. You make this channel the, the beautiful channel it is. So thank you so much and I appreciate you all. So sending lots of love and light as always. Namaste.